Sup you lot, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another reaction video. Welcome back to what is effectively the final instalment. Even though it's number 28, it is the final instalment of the top 100 NFL players of 2020. In a funny way, I'm kind of glad that I've been able to come back here to Christchurch and address you guys in real time. Today's date is the 23rd of January. In two more days, we have the divisional playoff games. I cannot wait. Following that, we've got the Super Bowl. I cannot wait for that either. But my plan, guys, if you didn't know, if you didn't watch a live stream that I did a couple of days ago, my plan, my immediate plan, is to base myself well, base my, my equipment, base my YouTube channel, base, base my business, everything that, I, everything that I've got going on, I'm basing it here in Christchurch. I have free accommodation here, this is my dad's house, I'm not going to shy away from that, that's a fact. Post Super Bowl, I'm going to be flying from here over to Australia to visit my two daughters. I will not have seen them in almost a year. That is because I had to remove myself from that situation. I wasn't coping. I feel like I've worked through those issues now. I feel a lot better. So I'm going to head back over and be the dad that they deserve. What I'm going to do whilst I'm there is delete YouTube from my phone. I'm going to delete Instagram from my phone. I'm going to get content ready to publish whilst I'm away, but it most likely, you know, it won't last the whole entire... I'm, I'm expecting to have probably two months off. I'm going to take a break from YouTube. I want you guys to know that, okay? If you're watching this right now, you support me, you support my content, I want you to know that midway through February, I'm going to be heading over to Australia to be a dad to my kids. I cannot have YouTube as a distraction. And it's going to be a massive distraction, as you guys know. I'm obsessed with YouTube. This is my body of work. I love my channel. I love all that YouTube has to offer. And I'm not going to go anywhere, but I do need a break. And it's not for me, because I could do this all year. It's for my daughters, and they deserve it. So, now that we've said that, now that I've, you know, decided that, because when I was making these videos down in Queenstown around Christmas time, I hadn't decided that. I was still thinking about myself. I, I probably wasn't completely happy down there, but I thought, nah, I'm going to stick it out. We'll see what happens. You know, I feel like down here, I feel like this is a fantastic place to create content. But at the end of the day, this is even better. This is even better. And it's the same bedroom I had before, but it's all mindset. It's all mindset, guys. So my mindset now is a lot better than it was two months ago. But that's only because I removed myself from this situation, put myself down there, realized that everything's all good, and here we are. So, today we're looking at Richard Sherman. Like I said, the only thing I remember from Richard Sherman is his absolute disgust and disappointment at that play for the Seahawks. So with that being said, let's get into it. So he talks a lot. Wasn't on the list last year, which I am surprised at. In fact, I think, come to, come to think of it, didn't this guy tear his Achilles or something? He was a free agent, possibly a free agent, was trying to get back from a, from a really major injury, whether it was an Achilles or hamstring injury. I feel like he had an injury, he made his way back into the league, and now he's playing for the 49ers. So let's, let's see if they mention anything about an injury. Man, he found swag. He is big. For a cornerback, he's fucking big. And, and to be honest, that is that's another thing that did cross my mind last time I saw him. I, I thought, you know what, this guy has to be among the, the tallest of all cornerbacks. And effectively, he was. He's a long, rangy guy, likes to get his hands on you, likes to play physical, which is a little different style than most corners in the league. Not everybody wants to get physical and mix it up with people. Damn, he, I, I'm surprised he didn't get taken off his feet with some of those blocks. He absorbs the contact pretty well. He must be, he must be big. He's pressing, he's not bailing at all. He's pressing back. Mm -hmm. I understood how he could be so close to the receiver, literally like almost nose to nose to the receiver and still be patient and still stay on top of the receiver as he release. Yeah, I don't know, man. That, that, is a, that is a really, really, really effective cornerback. To be that size, right up in your wide receiver's face, and still be able to track him like that. And against a guy like Ross, 
who ran 4.27 in the 40 yard dash. All right. Richard Sherman is one of two cornerbacks over the past decade to have allowed a completion rate of less than 50% while being targeted 250 or more times. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Mike Evans. Or more times. Kirk. Oh, here we go. Finish it, Sherman. So how did he, how did he, how did he, uh, how did he beat the receiver Teal in there? Okay, they're both going for it. So Sherman is tracking Teelan across. Teelan gives him a shake, expecting Sherman to stop running and hesitate, which is then going to allow Teelan to continue on the inside and, and be in front for that ball. But when he gives him a shake, Sherman doesn't, Bite. He doesn't bite. He doesn't bite. He he uh, he's seen that too many times before, actually, and he just goes for the interception. And um, Thielen honestly has no idea what's going on. That's a great play. That would have felt amazing. It's almost as if he was the receiver. Don't drop it, bro. I remember that one too, actually. Nice. That's what I just said. He's seen it a million times, right? He's seen every route a fucking million times. He's smart. But in fact, all of these football players are smart. That is cool, man. Listen to this. <laughs> you know? Fuck, he's intense. Sherman's knowledge and playmaking helped give the 49ers the number one pass defense. Sherman! Look at that pick, bro. Oh, wow. See, is he a receiver or a cornerback, honestly? Man, he's a guy that we've really counted on. He's somebody that's really anchored our defense. Sick, man. So last year it was the 49ers versus the Packers. This year it's the Packers versus the Bucks. He just seems to get better with age. Ah, you said, how old are you? Ageless. Great answer, Richard. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny, man. That's that's a good call, Richard. That's a good a good call. I like that. He's 32. He's he's ageless. Surprised he's only. At very surprised he's only 93 kg in fact I would be surprised if he's under 100 kg to be honest so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say he's 220 six foot three 191 centimeters born on March 30th 1988 in Los Angeles California age 32 he's been in the league for almost 10 years got picked up in the fifth round of the 2011 draft pick number 154 to the Seahawks Five-time Pro Bowler, three-time first-team All-Pro in his first three seasons. So it seems as if he came into the league and absolutely... Okay, with the Seahawks, yeah. During his time with the Seahawks, they led the league in scoring defense for four straight years between 12 and 15, making them the first team to do so since the 1950s Cleveland Browns. Sherman is regarded as one of the greatest cornerbacks in NFL history. Well, all right then. Played five years at Stanford. That's interesting. Five years, six foot two and five eighths of an inch. So I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him six foot three. Go on. I'll give you that. Four fifty six for the forty. Thirty eight inches on the vertical. Ten foot five on the broad jump. Sixteen on the bench press. And look, they said he was smart, right? They said he was smart. He got twenty four on the wonder look. 
above average. Not the best, certainly not the worst I've seen. Okay, do we need to say more? No, we don't. Because now, this list is officially over. So this video, you will see as soon as I can edit it. I hope you're enjoying the content, guys. I do this because I love it. I do this for your entertainment. And I ain't going nowhere. Except for Australia for two months, like I said. Stay tuned. There'll be plenty more content to come. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world. This video series is the third edition, okay? It'll be back next year. Or this year, actually. Um, in fact, come to think of it, this year's version of this series is probably going to come out in about two to three months. In which case, you know what I'll be doing. So I'll see you then. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. The UFC's tomorrow. Peace out.